Hello to all geologists. I am Agbo Jr. from CA Developers. I'm coming to you today with this short video showing how to use the field geologist application in recording your field geological data. So this is an application that is designed to replace the paper field notebook. So using your Android device, you can collect all your field data when you're doing field mapping. The first thing to do is to download the device. You can get the app from our website, fieldgeologist.cm, that you can see here. So from our main menu, you can see information about the app and you can go into the app and download. So it goes with you directly to the page. You can download the app from our website and you can pay for the full version directly or you can go to Google Play to download the app. So in Google Play, you can easily download the app by searching for Field Geologist, as you can see here. So you have the different versions, the full and the free version that you can download. So once you choose the version, you download, you go back to your device. So once you know where your app is in your device, you simply open the app. It runs very easily, it's very light. So you will notice, the first thing to notice is the app interface, which is very simple. Based on the particular field you're working on, you enter in the major uh, menu so you have different menus if you're working on the sedimentary terrain with sedimentary rocks you enter in sedimentary if it's metamorphic you have it you go right down to core logging so you have your setting menu here to set the app properties and an important parameter is this the notification button when you open it so it presents recent jobs and scholarships so the app this app gives you access to uh, recent jobs and scholarships published on the field geologist website secondly you have the tools menu which is very important it posts catalogs and charts that help you easily make decisions in the field for example if i open the color chart it gives me a basic color chart that will help me in the field to identify the color of my rock if i'm having difficulties identifying the rock i can come in rock identification if it is sedimentary rock i enter there so you have pictures of different sedimentary rocks. So you compare what you have on the field with what you're seeing in the catalog. It's going to help you identify the rock easily. You can zoom in to zoom out the information. And this is also accessible within each page. So let's assume you are a sedimentologist and you're working on a sedimentary terrain. So for you to work, you come to sedimentary. So once you open sedimentary, it says new project, click to add project. So you can click here on the plus sign to add, or you come here. It's going to give you a new page in which to input the data. So you can see the page has already been designed such that all the information you need while in the field, you can record them. Make sure you record everything because the app is designed for you not to leave any field empty. That way it makes sure you are not forgetting anything. Also, the tools menu is still accessible by clicking on this icon. So once you click on that icon, it's going to open the tools menu for you. So you can input the name of the researcher, the locality, for standard information, you already have them in lists where you are going to choose from, outcrop name. So you can input the outcrop height and width in centimeters. Now for GPS data, you can it's advisable to record your information from your handheld GPS device. But if you do not have a GPS device and you are in a zone where you have internet network and phone connection, the, the app helps you generate the GPS data of your position directly. So if I click on get app, get from device, you see automatically it's loading and it's going to collect the GPS for me automatically as you can see. Now I can input my zone and the elevation if I have it. If not, you type a zero because the app will not accept saving if any empty spaces are left behind. So if you have any information on the outcrop, you can type in there. For example, the outcrop general information like it is slanting 
left if you have no information you leave it also the app allows you to take pictures directly with the device camera so if i click on that it's going to give access to my camera i am in the office so you can see the picture make sure to turn auto rotate off to avoid rotating the image so when i take a picture i can save that picture and it automatically uploads it in the device also if you're working on an outcrop you already have previously saved pictures you can go to your gallery and upload the pictures in the app that way you can describe them so picture description you can describe the picture directly if you have nothing to say you put a zero now sedimentary outcrops are made up of beds this app allows you to add as many beds as possible so you can see bed one of one so you can add as many beds as possible so they say bed lithology you can either choose a lithology from the list or if it's not existing in the list you can type it down here the bed thickness is also given in centimeters so you can type the bed thickness in centimeters bed color if you can identify the color you give it if not you can always go to the tool menu and open the color chart to identify your color if fossils are present you click to choose the general type of fossil within the list if it's not present in the list you simply come back and if you have another name you can type it there if not you type a zero also your zip and strike data from your clinometer you can record them in there the strike data you record it soon i'm just using tentative data for you to see altitude if you have it you can type it in there the texture meaning the grain size you can also choose your grain size automatically you have your bed structure that you can choose from a drop down list if not you can type yours below and see septaria so you can also take pictures for the beds that you're working on and you can describe your bed if you have any description to make so you can see well, i mean need that share so whatever description you have you can give there now if you collected samples for that bed you can give the sample code that way you'll be sure you do not uh, confuse the particular bed so you can give a sample code for each of the samples you collected for that bed you can save the code if there is any important parameter to note on the bed you go on to note down there if not you put the zero so you can save the bed if the bed information is okay so you see some fields are empty that's to tell you that the app does not allow empty fields so you have to search where you have not typed in any information and you input the information so let's see bed color let's say brown so that's to make sure you do not forget any parameter when you're working in the field i think that's all so our bed has been saved you can add as many beds as possible as you see here and once you're done with all the beds that make up your outcrop you go on to save the outcrop it's going to save it as a project now a folder has been automatically created in your device where the picture will be saved separately and the data will be saved separately you can edit the data at any time using that button you can view the data or you can delete it if you want to now for you to use this data in your PC, you can simply export the data in CSV format. So you come to the menu up here, you click, you see import, export. So you can export your data in CSV format. So you see this data exported to that folder. So you can now go in your device and observe the data. So if I come back to my device, I will use a CSV reader to be able to open the CSV since it's an Excel file. So sorry if i take open i go to my device i take storage and i look for the few geologists folder so we can see it here it has been created in the device by the app automatically so if i open that folder you can see you have csv so all the csv data will be found here and all the images will be found in here so if i open csv i have a sedimentary csv folder and i open the document so you can see all the information we just typed in has already been saved in a well annotated 
uh, Excel sheet. So for all the bets you type in the information, they will be present in a sheet like that. This with this Excel information, you can then go on to interpret your data using other softwares. The pictures too are in their folder, so you can open the folder directly to see the pictures and you use them. So this is basically a short video to show you how to work with field geologists. More are still to come. Thank you.